Welcome to the family channel, a channel which is very important on the issues of the family. This channel is very, very important because of the focus. The issues it focuses on, on the issues of the family, they are very, very important. And there are some of the contemporary issues which are affecting Kenyan society and the family at lunch. And so today, I welcome you to a very interesting discussion on why do young girls and young men, young women chase old men? Because it's very, very important to really understand and ask ourselves what really puts these young girls and young women to old men who some are even who are supposed even to be their grandfathers. It's very important for us to ask ourselves that question. What is the attraction? What is pulling them? What is pushing them to them? One of the important reasons is the issue of the peer pressure. Some of these young girls and young women are interacting with their peers, and they are seeing some of their peers, even some from the very poor background, they have been able to live a very conspicuous lifestyle. They have been able to have the latest phone, mobile phones, the latest watches, the latest television, the latest dresses, and even to some extent, some of them have been able to have cars, yet they are students um, from very poor background. So now, what actually, what's, what's the attraction? When you find that you appears having all this, why should you also not enjoy these trappings? Some of your peers are also having an opportunity even to enjoy vacations in Mombasa. Some are even taken to, to Paris, Italy, and even America for that matter. And so these ones are attempting to really chase these old men, no matter their age. No wonder there is a common say these days to justify that behavior that the age is nothing but a number. Because deep in the conscience of, the, of these girls, they feel that they are not supposed to be relating to their fathers or to their grandfathers according to the societal values and the norms. Secondly, there is the issue of the father figure. Some of these girls or young and young women, they are looking for a father figure. Some of them, they come from families where they did not enjoy the father love. Some did not, probably they are from single parents. Others did not have an opportunity of enjoying love. The fathers were very brutal. They were very cruel. And so many are from rejected families. And so when they are looking for those old men and old women, they are looking for love which they did not have. They want actually to have a father figure, somebody whom they can feel that now they are having somebody resembling a father. So now these people, if they, aren't, they didn't have a father, they had a father but cruel, they had a father who rejected them, or they had an absent father. Fathers who are rarely seen. Probably they are in the, in the lifestyle of drinking. The children don't see them. Or they are weekend fathers who come only on weekends. So they are tempted to root for somebody who can replace their father. And then the other aspect is these girls, they also want a show off. When, for example, they have got an opportunity to be taken for vacations in, in Mombasa, for example, in Kisumu, in Italy, in California, in such places, they are going to take photographs and they are going to post them in the Instagram, in the WhatsApp, in Facebook. And when they do that, of course, they are going to be respected by their peers and they are going to have a high score in terms of social status. And so this one becomes very 
encouraging to them. Then some of these uh, girls, they want to have time with those old men who some of them are retirees who have got time. These retirees have got time with these girls and young women. And you see now with these girls, with these young men of their age, they have got no time for them. But these ones, they have got all the time in the world to, take, to spare with these young girls and young women. So, these also, they have got commitment, which the young men don't have. So they have, they, they have got solid commitment. They have got understanding. They feel these old men have got understanding. They feel these old men can listen to them, can pay attention to them. And so it attracts them, and they are very happy when they are given such attention. Then another one is these old men, they can be able to keep to give to to put some money in the bank for them, even if they are in school, even if they are working, but they can still these men can just put some money in their account. These young men, they have not have much to save and even to to put it to the account of their girlfriends. Then another reason is these young girls and the young women is the issue of employment. Like now when there is a lot of problem over unemployment, of employment in Kenya. So now these people, these old men, they can promise the young girls that the young women that they are going to get a job. So they start moving. They are attracted because of the jobs. Then there is also the aspect of promotion. These young men, young women, they are working in an organization. And so their bosses may want to, to push with them, may want to have an affair with them. Then, and they want promotion. So what happens? They have an affair with them. They start pushing with them to get promotions and others to get scholarships, others to get plots, others to be bought a house, especially in leafy estates. Let's say in Nairobi, in Runda, in Kredeshua, and Karen, etc., etc. Thank you very much for listening to me. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.